what I'm going to show you guys how to do is graph linear inequalities. Uh, Justin, this is the last installment for you guys on your homework quiz. That means we'll take a homework quiz on this next class period. Um, so basically, in general, when we're graphing linear inequalities, it's the exact same thing as graphing linear equations. And I think a lot of times what will help students is forget about the inequality symbols for a second. Just think of them as linear equations. Okay. Now, if I was going to graph this as a linear equation, um, I see that this is in slope-intercept form. So I'm going to want to make sure I identify my y-intercept and identify my slope. So to graph these, remember the first thing that we always want to do is plot the y-intercept. So on my x and y-axis that I have here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plot my y-intercept, which is negative 5. So I go down to negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I make a point. 3 fourths is my slope, which is going to tell me from my y-intercept to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So up 3, over 4. Does everybody see that? that was two. That's 2. Thank you. You're getting old, Mr. McLogan. Really and you're getting young for not doing your homework. Yeah. So um, does everybody see that? Now, before I connect them, understand these are not, um, uh, we're not actually, we're just, I just like to use this for the thinking of equations. But notice that this is an inequality. So I go back to there and I see, oh, it's less than or equal to. So is that going to be a solid or a dashed line? Solid. Solid, right? The points are going to be a part of our solution. OK? Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to rewrite it back as it is. Or you can just put in this sign. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to use a test point. Remember when we had linear equations and we had to test, should I shade to the left or should I shade to the right? Or when we had one variable inequalities, right? Should I shade to the left or should I shade to the right? Here, we need to choose, should I be shading above the line or below the line? So I choose a test point. I choose a test point that is not on the line. For instance, the best test point I like to use is 0, 0. 0, 0 is not on the graph. So I plug in 0 in for y and 0 in for x. Therefore, I have 0 is less than or equal to negative 5. Is that true or is that false? It's false. So since that's false, that means all the points above the line are false, and I'm going to shade below. Now, rather than shading below like we did with uh, linear, just one linear inequality, I'm going to write the arrows in here, okay? telling me I'm going to be shading below. And I'll get to shading in a second. Now, let's go and do the next one. Now, this problem is in standard form. So one way to graph this would be to rewrite this in slope-intercept form. So to do that, ladies and gentlemen, remember we have to solve for our y. So I see that my y is being multiplied by 4, and it's being added by 3x. So the first thing I do is I subtract a 3x on both sides. Now I have 4y is equal to a negative 3x plus 8. Now, to solve for the 4, or um, to solve for y, I divide by 4. y is equal to a negative 3 fourths x plus 2. Does everybody see that? Yes. Now I go up to my y-intercept of 2. Now I'm going down 3 over 4. 1, 2, 3, over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we go back to our inequality and we notice that, hey, this is a um, dashed line. So it's not going to be solid. OK? Yep, but we're not done yet. The last thing is, again, can I use my same test point for this? Yes. So here, I'm just going to plug in 0 in for x and 0 in for y. And I get 0 is greater than 8. Is that true or is that false? False. So therefore, I'm going to shade above. And then the region where both of my graphs are going to share the same shading is going to be right here. I'm only going to sh I only want you to shade it where the two systems in cross. Yes. Because if that point's false, that means all the points below the line are false. That means all the points above it are true. And we always want to shade where it's true. Yes. 
So yeah, you oh, so yeah, when you're shading yeah. you just shade away from like yeah, the test point. The if it's false. Yeah, if if it's the shade if the was true, then you'd shade towards okay, the test point. Okay, anybody have any questions?